unfortunately this is an area of opportunity which is yet not explored by many of the you know big giants or big names of the country uh, angro does some some good uh, products but they are yet not into the particular family of the products which we or many of the other converters would import having said that this is something which is again as i said an area of improvement or area of opportunity which anyone can tap into and i think people should sooner rather than later will actually tap into it and pakistan will become self sufficient in this one area as far as packaging is concerned but on the other hand i can tell you that this is some this is something i mean as far as the import of the raw materials is concerned it is not something which is completely untapped polyester is something which was not being produced into the country up until maybe 2008 uh, 9 and then of course there was the first capacity which came in then there more capacities came in and i know that recently another capacity was actually brought into the country so gradually uh, and slowly but surely these things are coming into the country and i am quite sure that this will keep on coming into the country ink is a, you know a tricky product let me put it that way you would not be able to import inks as you might be able to perhaps procure another part or another component of packaging like granules or films it's a thing which has certain sensitivity associated with it it has certain uh, you know dangerous goods uh, claims which actually have to be taken care of and to be handled very carefully which essentially means that it is something which you would otherwise not want to get into unless it is extremely essential and necessary now fortunately for a country like pakistan this is already something which i would say is a is a good fortune there are multiple now two suppliers two main suppliers or big suppliers and there are other suppliers which are also trying to come in so they are making the country self sufficient for inks we on the other hand actually have taken a very unique approach of having an ink dispensing system on our own so what we do is we actually get concentrates we do get inks or the components of ink and instead of you know getting a pre mixed or pre blended ink we kind of do the blending by ourselves now this gives us you know multiple advantages one we actually are not solely dependent on one supplier to give us a blend of ink we rather can do our own blending two we can achieve a very i would say extended gamut of inks or an extended gamut of colors which perhaps any and all the converters could not have uh, now that is a competitive positioning which we have and we also feel that it is also bringing in certain economies into our process which we of course are then trying to make ourselves more competitive and more appealable to the market whatever crisis come uh, it's a famous saying that you know in every crisis there is an opportunity you just need to find it and i also feel that you know even over here if there are issues which are related to power which are related to transport or infrastructural issues uh, that does not mean that this part kit has actually become irrelevant it still is very very relevant as i said majority of the decision making regarding the businesses even for the companies which are based in punjab is being done over here still over here and karachi is the economic hub of the country it will remain the economy hub of the country because it's the port city as well now when i talk about the opportunity part of it i you know that renewable energy solar and all is actually coming big time and it is coming into the country and it is actually something which is more and more appealing to the to the investors and to the industry so uh, is the case for us so we are looking at these opportunities where we can actually shift ourselves from the conventional energy to the new sources of energy and make ourselves uh, more green as someone who has to manage uh and of course manage resources which are quite limited uh that is something which of course is is a very tricky question but i would say technology it is something which is of course needed for most of the industries they need to perhaps find out the best technologies they would need but along with the technologies i think the know how is also very important when it comes to know how it of course boils down to talent and when it boils down to talent the base of all these things is your human resources so if you have the right set of people who actually can give you the necessary know how i feel that you know with with that anything and everything becomes possible i mean i have seen situations in which it look like now the ship is actually you know gone or it will actually sink there is nothing which can stop you but i have seen people rising out of those things i don't think so that you know uh, the situation we are in or the country is in is something which will essentially you know lead into a disastrous situation only again there are uh, you know opportunity areas which one has to focus on and and in the same period of time i mean people are making money so uh, when people make money they actually create more more uh, you know job opportunities and it actually does trigger the country and the economy i'm quite hopeful that the people of the country and the companies will rise out of it 
but yes, it's a matter of time. And up until then, you just have to tighten your belt. Well, of course, it's a different country, and uh, because of being a different country, it has a different culture over there. Uh, the population of the country and uh, the infrastructure, all of these things have a very, uh, I would say, significant impact on the way you know packaging is being sold or packaging is required in a country. So South Africa as a country has, you know, various, uh, it's basically different colors of the spectrum which you will see in, in South Africa. There are high-end uh, laminates, there are high-end packaging demands in South Africa, but at the same time there are low-end but very volume-oriented demands in South Africa. So this particular business which I was heading over there was actually concentrating more on the tertiary packaging. It has some of the primary packaging as well, so it was a spectrum which we were trying to cover over there. In terms of the differences in the market, as I said, it's a smaller market, so naturally size has a role, major role to play as far as the economies of the scale is concerned. But on the other hand, the ability to buy packaging or the per capita consumption of packaging was of course different. Uh, Pakistan being a very different market, it's 25 or 250 million people. Uh, those 250 million people need a very different scale of packaging. Uh, which actually requires us a very different kind of printing mod to be used over here. So we in Pakistan as a country are more graveyard oriented than flexo oriented for on technology perspective. But at the same time, you know, we would need, you know, a lot of more innovation and sustainable solutions, which over a span of time will keep on coming into the market. Where Compass puts itself or positions itself relatively better as compared to the rest of the competitors is they are using ahead of the curve technologies. That cutting edge equipment which Compass has brought in, you know, looking at the future, even before anybody else even thought of it, these guys actually brought it in. Now, without having as much of utilization of that equipment, they knew that they wanted to achieve something out of it. And of course, now the dream is coming true. It looks like that, you know, there are big opportunities and these opportunities, especially with the multinational clients, uh, make us feel that, you know, we are quite fit for the for the requirement of those multinational companies. If I look at my vision, the way I look at this company, I feel that this company should grow to a 50 billion company, let's say in, in a certain period of time, and definitely I keep on speaking about it, I keep on sharing my dream with my team. Uh, I feel that you know there is a lot of opportunity yet to be done in Pakistan. So in next few years, I would want to concentrate myself and the company on the local industry and in the local opportunities. Because as I said, uh, we definitely are perhaps the second largest supplier, but that does not mean that we don't have the potential to become the number one. And why not? If it is a possibility, why not? So I think the country does need good manufacturing uh, partners for the flexible packaging and for other types of packaging. And we would not want to restrict ourselves only to flexible packaging. I mean, there are other modes of packaging, which so far Compass has not explored. But I think there is a lot of room and availability uh, of uh, opportunities in those areas, which we would uh, at least try and tap. Uh, we are already in talks with some of the clients, of course, on the African side. We are in talks with the, so with the clients on perhaps you know, on the Middle Eastern side and we feel that the equipment we have and the skill set we have, as I said, that you know, the know-how which we have and which we can acquire does enable us to do you know, a lot of exports. But we need perhaps is again you know, certain presences and areas where we have actually agents who can actually help us out. And that's what we need to work on. But for sure, we, we feel that you know we are quite geared up for that. Sad thing that you know, uh, unluckily, the country has not yet been able to find out uh, a way where we can actually, if not bring it down to zero, but to reduce this brain drain. And uh, year after year, this thing is increasing. But at the same time, I also feel that this is something which helps the country to do you know a term called top grading whereby you actually have a set of people and then those, that set of people actually have made their contribution and they actually move to another, another part of the world where they wanted to make more contribution. Wherever they go, of course, they, they do something good for themselves and in, the, in turn, they bring good name to the country as well doing, by doing those good things. So the local talent, of course, will then grow to that position. Industry, I think, and the industrialists, on the other hand, are responsible to give the right opportunity to those new talented employees, train them, and enable them and this is a cycle which will keep on happening but remember Pakistan is a very dynamic country it's a country which actually has perhaps one of the highest number of the young populations so what does that mean again means an opportunity in the country so you can actually hire all those good chaps girls boys whosoever and then you give them an opportunity to grow and to prove themselves look if we won't do it who will do it actually somebody has given me a chance 23 years back and that is why I am here today 
So which essentially means it is also my responsibility to do something in a cyclical manner so that people also come forward. Honestly speaking, while still working in Punjab, I found that many of the MNCs had their uh, offices, they had their presence already in Sindh. So uh, my sense is that you know more of the business oriented acumen or more of the business oriented talent used to come from Sindh and they used to work perhaps for many companies in Punjab. And then of course you know more of these universities actually started coming in Punjab side as well like LAMS is a big name, Lahore School of Economics is a big name. So more of these business graduates also started coming out from Punjab side. Technical side or engineering side students used to you know ooze out more from the Punjabi market and that's why they used to work more in those industries. Having said that, I felt that, you know, while in Lahore, it still is Karachi where I used to come to get more business. And I used to spend almost a week, almost every month, because the market over here and the presence over here, unless it is not there, you wouldn't be able to survive in this market. So yes, the business was there, the factories are there because Punjab is more of a populous province of the country, which essentially makes a perfect sense for the factories or companies to set up their bases over there. But that doesn't mean that, you know, the business did not, or business actually still is more concentrated or the decision making part of the business is still concentrated in Sindh. And that is why I think uh, it's very important to have your presence over here. I mean, to meet with customers when you are just a phone call away is much better than, you know, flying all the way from Punjab and then trying to reach out to a customer. Well, of course, that is true that there is an energy disparity. I also understand that, you know, from a transportation perspective, there are challenges which one may actually face. Now, of course, this up and down transportation along with the rising fuel prices, it is something which does have an impact. And many of the companies are already focusing on their ability to move themselves to Punjab. So for that, from their side, I mean, manufacturing something in Punjab and trying to distribute all across the Punjab where the population is much more, makes more perfect sense for them. Uh, we, on the other hand, have yet not, uh, you know, decided to go about it, but we are open to this idea. We are open to the idea of having another base from the contingency planning perspective. Still, it is something which would make more sense. Any and all the multinational companies do look at suppliers uh, for their contingency planning and they find that a supplier who has a base in Karachi and a base in Lahore or anywhere in Punjab is more reliable compared to the one who only has base in one of the provinces. So that is also a true angle to it. Uh, but as I said, as of now, because of the situation of the economy, I think we perhaps will take a little longer, maybe a couple of more years to decide about where would we want to put ourselves, which city and which industrial zones. But I'm quite hopeful that, you know, with all the industrial growth the government is trying to promote, like these industrial parks in Faisalabad, industrial parks in other areas of Punjab, there definitely will be more opportunities for industry. So I would say, in my opinion, Compass is perhaps the the best, uh, I would say, positioned company in terms of infrastructure and also in terms of know-how. So Constantia is a company which actually has a technical collaboration with the multinational company called Constantia. So in the world, on the global level, there are three big names, Constantia, Amcor and Hutamaki, who are actually the real uh, big names. Positive packaging is also a big name, but Constantia is actually a leading flexible packaging manufacturer in the world, very well known. Compass actually has taken a step forward a couple of years back and has done a technical collaboration, which essentially means that we have access to their repertoire of knowledge and they can actually pass on that knowledge to us. Now, I can give you a recent example that there is a laminate which we actually was were working on and this laminate was being developed by, by a multinational company in conjunction with another converter over a span of three years. We did all of that in eight weeks. Now, how did that happen? One, of course, because we had a very high level of commitment. We were committed to develop this thing so that we do something which is not only good for us, which is good for the customer. It is something which helps them to fulfill their social responsibility and, of course, our own social responsibility as well. And we have actually invested into a very high-end equipment. Again, it is something which nobody else has invested in, but we being perhaps uh, the intellectual leader of the of the market have actually invested into this thing with the hope that when the time will come we will actually be ready for it as you know uh, misfortune is something but good fortune is where your opportunity hits preparation we just want to be prepared and wait for the opportunity i feel that yes government can give certain initiative can certain in incentives which actually can be given to the industry so that they can see if they can move towards more of these greener initiatives uh, they can perhaps reduce the duties which actually would be required to put on those imported raw materials which are required to make the products uh, i would say sustainable 
up until the local industry you know really jacks up its capability and reaches to the point where they are also able to produce the same thing up until then the government can actually reduce the taxes up until then the government can actually give some sort of incentive in terms of tariffs or in terms of taxes or in terms of any other duties uh, whereby the converter who actually is producing all these sustainable solution is more and more encouraged to go into these directions now these are ways and means whereby you can actually try to enable a particular converter but as i said we also understand on the other hand the government itself is passing through certain difficulties and there are chances that these things are exploited so uh, for now i think we as compass and many other players good names in the country are trying to do whatever they can in order to achieve what is required to be achieved to make our society more sustainable our environment more sustainable but this is more and purely self initiative which gives you more of a self satisfaction without being dependent on somebody